So Miss Pearl's foot is a little swollen. As you can see, this one's fine. This one, not so much. This is not a very good happy Thanksgiving so far. When your turkey gets bumblefoot, it's never a good thing. But I think we're catching it early and we're gonna try and take care of it. We're not gonna eat you, I promise. You know, everybody's watched the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special a million times. This is a nice way to switch things up a little bit. It's not every day you see a turkey in a bathtub. Our turkey is suffering from a condition called bumblefoot, which is a staph infection on the bottom of her foot. Right now we got her soaking in a bath of Epsom salt. We're gonna leave her in there for about 20 minutes just to really help soften up the bottoms of her feet so that we can go in there and remove it with ease. Hopefully this works. I'm going to make you lay down. So here you have a really good view of the infected area. That hard black looking circle in the middle of her foot pad is called the kernel. And this is what we need to go ahead and pull out because that's the center of the infection. And it's just a plug of dead tissue that's holding the infection in right now. Now because we soaked her foot so long in Epsom salt, that little kernel popped right out, revealing a crater at the center of the infection area. And we squeezed and poked around for a little bit to see if we could get any pus to drain out. Really wasn't able to get anything, but like I said, we're also catching it early. Just squirt a little bit of peroxide in there and you can see it foaming up nicely. We decided to go ahead and put a mask left over from COVID over her foot. Nice cloth mask. And then we taped it on, simply because when you don't have gauze, you improvise. Then a layer of sticky white tape that is non-porous. And this is really aiming to seal up the wound good so that it stays clean and she doesn't get dirt packed back up in it. This is really important because this is what's going to allow it to heal and keep more infection from getting in. Pretty much looks like a professional did it. Uh, pretend farmer MD. And Pearl was relieved to be let go and be able to stand on her own two feet again. And since she was such a good patient, naturally it warrants a treat. Yeah. On her way back outside, she had to stop and check out the Christmas tree. Apparently, turkeys are fascinated with Christmas trees. She's not letting this bandage on her foot slow her down at all, and most importantly, it's keeping it clean. So stay tuned, and we'll give an update here in about a week or so to see if this fully healed. We did a video not long ago on how to prevent bumblefoot, but just to give you a couple quick reminders, make sure you're keeping the roost bars splinter free, in a nutshell, bumblefoot happens whenever they tear their feet up, uh, cuts, abrasions, things like that, and then they walk through poop, and it gets infected just like any wound would when you get that kind of stuff in there. Overweight birds are susceptible to bumblefoot. You want to make sure and keep them exercising, keep them on a good diet, make sure that their area is clean where they're minimizing how much they're walking through waste. Uh, really high roost bars are bad for bumblefoot. Chickens got to fly off of that high roost bar. They come crashing down on the floor. A lot of times that can cause the pads of their feet to get abrasions, especially if they're overweight. You combine the two, it's a bad recipe. Bumblefoot is an infection, and if it spreads to their bone, it can be fatal. Bumblefoot left untreated can easily kill a bird over a matter of days. So it's important once you catch it to take care of it as quick as possible. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer. Signing out.